Okay guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. So today we're just going to do a quick opening um, of the Durston Kakwa 40 Ultralight bag. Uh, and I'm also going to talk a little bit about the importing um, experience and, and the customer service of um, Durston, um, Dan. So um, I've been looking at this bag for quite a while and um, really fancied it. The one thing that put me off was I currently use a, a, an Osprey uh, Exos 38 um, 40 litre bag this one is. Great for wild camping, 1.2 kilos but the, the, the Kakwa really took my, took my fancy. The only thing that put me off was there's no vents on the back. So I uh, I dropped down an email and you know customer service you, you really really can't fault him um, he answers all all the emails um, personally um, I mentioned my concerns and he came back with a really good argument he said look your back is going to get a bit sweaty it does with any back the benefit you get with a cat cat over the, the the osprey or similar type bags is the center of gravity the bag is closer to your back keeps you upright and you walk straight uh, and it's more comfortable um, and thinking about it when I have been out hiking in, in hot weather with the Osprey my back has sweated and I do find myself hooking on my feet a lot more so I thought you know what he makes a good point so I ordered one um, I ordered it on the 16th of this month of August uh, through the Dan Durston website, I was then redirected to the uh, to the store at Stocksham. Um, placed my order. Shipping was forty forty dollars. Uh, oh, nice label in the bag. The shipment was forty dollars, um, and uh, website's very easy to use, nice and quick. And um, and yeah, so um, on Sunday, so what was that? What was the date Sunday? The 20th, I got an email off FedEx to say that um, they'd received my parcel and there was import duty to pay on it. Uh, FedEx had paid the duty for me to speed up the process, which was absolutely fantastic. So the FedEx sent me an invoice for £62.50, I think it was. I paid that and the bag was delivered on the Monday. So ordered on the 16th from Canada or the US, I'm not quite sure which one they actually get shipped from. And it was with me on the 21st. So, you know, quick, simple. So if anybody is, uh, is concerned about ordering from Canada and the length of time, it takes and don't be um, fantastic experience it was so here we go here's the bag look at that that is stunning quality of it oh wow i'm impressed right let's check the the weight out shall we so this is made from dynamite the same as the x mid pro 110 i believe it's cut, it's labelled as an ultra light, and there we go. Just over 800 grams, you can see that. So that's 400 grams lighter than the, uh, the Osprey I was using. So let's have, a, uh, let's have a quick look at it. Let's have a quick look. I can't wait to get out and use it. The, I, I took the Exmo Pro out on the Brecon and Deacons last week. Um, videos on the corner, if you haven't seen that yet. It was a fantastic tent. Um, I didn't get it set up correctly, but I still loved it. And Dan has um, put the video out recently that kind of shows the mistakes I made, or common mistakes. So I'm looking forward to getting a set up next time. Right, so look at this. So we've got a nice deep pocket in the back. Keep all your wet gear then. Good deep pocket there for a water bottle or hiking pose. Oh, it's got a nice zip there. 
that is separate to the main pocket so that's good you can just pop your snacks in there or your phone or anything else very very good what we got this side oh we got another pocket this side yeah you can fit my gopro will fit in there spare batteries snacks my phone anything in there i do like these pockets oh there goes my cup i do like these pockets a water bottle my um satellite communicator will fit in there very very good so it's a row top down bag space in there and even comparing it to the um, you can have a lot more space and if you can notice that but if you put them side by side with the Osprey even though they similar size bags you're going to get a lot more space in this one a lot more space um, what I struggled with with the Osprey a little bit was there's lots of pockets in there and I couldn't remember where I put stuff so with this just being a pile on top all my sleeping gear will go at the bottom and all my other bits will come up on top now this one is the is the large version because you know I'm, I'm not the smallest of chaps smaller than what I was but but yeah um, I'm really really happy with that I can't wait to get out on another adventure and and, and give it a test so yeah guys if, if if you're looking at ordering from the, uh, the Dan Durston website and you're worried about the import process don't be very quick very easy and I would highly recommend it um, if anybody else is using one uh, let me know how you're getting on in the comments please uh, I'd really uh, really like to, to see that um, and I will let you guys know how, how I get on with it but I absolutely love it already Thanks for joining guys, catch you soon, bye bye.